Hello everyone, welcome to this brand new session on Lacy Zentangles. I am Sanyukta Saxena, I am a certified Zentangle teacher and this new series is about laces and Zentangle. Yes, so we will be combining laces with Zentangle patterns. We will be also drawing lacy tangles, right? We will try to give a lacy look to uh, our Zentangle patterns at times but more or less we will keep our laces and Zentangle uh, separate and we will combine them in a particular tile in almost every tile that we will draw learn uh, new ways of drawing laces new types of laces and uh, combine our knowledge of Zentangle with the laces basically whenever I learn something new if I tried something new and innovative I try to combine it with my knowledge of Zentangle without uh, you know uh, tampering with uh, the tangles I just try and combine new things with Zentangle to enhance the look of the tile and that is what we will be trying, trying to do uh, in the coming up series in the sessions to come so these are just some examples of laces uh, the some of the supplies that you would uh, require uh, I'll be working on apprentice size tiles right so these are bigger than the regular square tiles they are 4.5 inch by 4.5 inch black and white looks nice as far as laces is concerned so I'll be working with jelly roll pens these are sakura jelly roll pens so 10 and 08 are the two nib sizes if you have 05 also please keep it handy at times we uh, might use that also and besides that just a black pen and uh, the white charcoal pencil the graphite pencil and two blending stuffs is what we will require for these sessions right so basically uh, we will learn how to draw different kinds of laces or basically what goes into drawing a lace yeah so there are certain uh, things that you might want to remember or take down as far as drawing laces is concerned right the first thing is uh, there is always a bolder design uh, which is you know in the forefront and then there is a background design in the foreground right so there is a bolder design right so you will use your bolder pen or redo lines to create this design right so this is one thing the next thing is there is a background design right so we will use a finer nib to create this design right the next thing is there is always a looping involved right if you want to give it a lacy look right then you will never use a plain line you will always use a lacy look or looping give it a looping right so when i say looping i will use an 08 right and beat any line you can always give it a looped look by doing looping over it like this right so what i'm doing is i'm using this stroke just like the tangle eek just that they are closer and they are smaller right so this gives it a crinky uneven woven look right just as we have in laces so you can do that to any shape it's just in case you have drawn this shape if you draw it this way simple it doesn't look that lacy as it will when you give it a nice eek or crinkle or looping look like this yeah this looks more lacy and you can add lines like this right so always uh, remember to give a crimpled or a lacy look the fourth thing is uh, nothing hangs in the air if you have closely noted a, a lace everything is interlinked and uh, you know connected with each other that is why interlacing of a lace is important right so just in case you have few shapes right for example you have shapes like this just a simple example of orbs right so you can't have orbs hanging in the hair, air like this right so you have to connect it 
right so this is also again you can always give it a woven look right so give it a nice weaving use your finer nib sometimes o5 is helpful it has an even even finer nib yeah so just give it a fine finish zigzag look but there has to be interlaking right be it any shape just in case you draw a shape like this and use my bolder nib yeah just in case you draw a shape like this right inside so they cannot be again hanging in the air right so you have to connect it so you will draw either lines like this or some other way and connect this shape to the outer line right so there has to be interlacing interlinking of shapes that's important yeah so every shape has to be connected with the border or the other shape adjoining shape right so let me give you some of the textures or backgrounds that we use for laces yeah generally uh, we use a couple of uh, backgrounds for example a very common background is a tangle called or leak in zentangle which is just a mesh that we create for background you can also use floors with dots which is again a zentangle pattern floors yeah so what i am doing here is creating a checkerboard a square grid and then adding dots at these intersections yeah a simpler version of tangle floors but very commonly used background as far as laces is concerned yeah you can also give a fish scales kind of a background for example if this is the space that you have right then i can draw in small little loops like this and then alternate it so the next loop the center will be in between right so again next loop just like we draw the tangle tag right so this is also a very common background used in laces yeah to fill up spaces i hope you can see it clearly yeah so simple criss cross which is also a tangle called or leak in zentangle or you can use floors with dots right or you can use this fish scale kind of a weaving which is also a can tangle called tag in zentangle the grid is like that right you also use uh, just uh, something like stained glass when you draw something in stained glass you can just divide randomly any any way right so this is also a very commonly used way to provide a background to laces just randomly connecting and dividing just like you do for giving a stained glass effect yeah just this is also very common way of adding a background to laces yeah so we have discussed about four backgrounds this is generally a stained glass effect it just zigzag divide the section into zigzag areas or you can use this fish scale kind of a, a weave right you can use this floors with dots or you can use or leak these are some you can see here this is uh, floors with dots right so again this is also uh, one very common enhancing technique is this hashes or the thatching what we call as thatching or etching right so you can use that very commonly in lacing also just add these thatching edge marks and looks really nice as far as laces is concerned you can you can if you want shade your laces but generally they look much better in black and white yeah but you can always use your graphite and chalk to highlight laces and your zentangle patterns right so just a quick revision of what we discussed there is always a main design 
for example this is the main design you can see the lines are bolder then there is a design in the background which is this floors with dots right which is always used you use a finer nib to create that design right it is a background some of the background designs commonly used is or leak which is simple checkerboard or floors or tag or this kind of a weaving right generally you <coughs> provide give a texture to the lines by looping right so they are not clear cut lines if you uh, add this e kind of a texture they look more lacy right and the tangles the main design that you draw have to be interlinked always right so they cannot be floating in the air you have to interlink it in some way to each other and to the main lines that you have drawn right and this is a nice embellishment technique there are so many others that we can you know discuss while we draw the tiles so that was a brief about laces i already told you that uh, supplies that we will be using so get ready and uh, we shall have a blast in next few sessions right bye bye